I'm here with Dave White of Rusty Plow Blueberry Farm, and we are in the midst of glorious blueberry fields uh, right outside of Enumclaw. And Dave, I love all these blueberries. How did you get started in this? We got started with 45 friends and family coming over, almost like a barn raising. They came and planted 3,500 plants in one morning. So this is a new blueberry farm. Brand new. First it, year we fruited. Okay, so is this you pick or you sell them? or what It's do you, you do? pick. We do sell to our local customer in town, the yogurt shop. Okay, so it's all about growing local, eating local, and having fun here because people have so much fun picking blueberries. I love you've got those little blueberry harness things <laughs> and all that, but for the average homeowner, okay, if they can't come here and pick blueberries, what tips do you have for homeowners growing blueberries? Well, first of all, the blueberry plant you plant yeah. is probably going to live longer than you are. So soil wow. preparation is extremely important. Okay. Dig a giant hole, Okay. put in some peat moss and some good compost or mulch or some planting soil. Okay, so peat mix moss, it all up. because I know what peat moss does, it makes the soil acid. Acidic, right. And blueberries love acid, acid soil. soil. Big hole, lots of peat moss. What about water? Are these thirsty plants? They love water, Okay. but you can give them too much water. Ooh. They'll, uh, they need to be in a well-drained soil. Okay, so, so that's if you've got right. a low spot in your yard, you might want to think about raised mounds. Okay, and that's exactly what you did. You raised the mound. Yes. And then what about fertilizing? Do you have to fertilize these guys a lot? Fertilizing in the spring, maybe late spring, uh -huh. not a lot. Be careful. No manure, but use oh. azalea and roadie mixtures that okay. you can get at your local so, garden shop. So no manure on blueberries. Use like an acid type fertilizer in the spring and then you're gonna get, you have some giant blueberries here. What are these ones with these huge berries called? We've got Chandler variety. They're as large as quarters. Uh, and then you have many varieties. I know you have uh, the ability to harvest way into the fall season. Right. But you start early in the year. We've got, we've got five different varieties. Okay. We've got some early Dukes. Ooh. Then we go into our mid-season varieties. Yeah. And our latest season is called Liberty, which we'll pick all the way into September. Oh, I love the Liberty because those are the ones I usually recommend for homeowners. Oh, good. But I've, I'm being distracted because I'm seeing all this <laughs> tinsel. Is it Christmas? What do you got going on here? We love birds, but we don't love them eating our blueberries. Okay. So we're trying to scare them off a bit, distract them a bit. Okay, so, so you're we've using... used some some tape. This is Ed Hume tape. Oh yeah, flash tape. Flash tape. You buy it where you buy Ed Hume seeds. Mm -hmm. And I'm hearing something else. I'm hearing the screams of birds that you are torturing. What is going on? <laughs> Back there, we have an electronic device that's got some recordings on it. It's got some screeches from owls and peregrine falcons, and Ooh. it's also got some birds in distress sounds. Birds in distress birds and that in scares distress. away the birds. Okay, <laughs> but it doesn't scare away the people because this is a beautiful blueberry farm and I know the people of Enumclaw love coming here. So thanks so much. And coming up next, we are gonna learn more about the color blue. We're gonna see blue hydrangeas and how to prune them. And then we might get some tips on blueberry pie. Mm -hmm.